Aaron Boone is going to join us. Hello, Aaron. Hey, guys. How you doing? Ugh. Doing well. Uh, which had, you had your buddy Phil Nevin yeah. mic'd up at the third base coach's box. Yeah, how'd the Viking do on here? Is he good? He was... Yeah, he was excellent. I the, bet. the only shame was a, a couple quick innings. That would, yeah. Otherwise, could have gotten an even longer run. Audi scoreboard Yankees 4-2 lead. Uh, Aaron, how about Corey Kluber, his performance today as we see Chapman into the game now? What would you think of Kluber's four innings? I thought he was good overall. Um, you know, not probably the command that, that we're going to see from him. I, th I thought he actually had a little more power today with all his stuff. And, uh, you know, so he's a little more scattered. But all in all, I thought he threw the ball r really well. I thought he executed a number of, of, of really different pitches, you know, whether it was the cutter at times, the slider, um, both fastballs and even the change up a little bit. Um, you know, I think he was a little frustrated when he came out there. You know, he had a chance on a comeback or and a wild pitch, hit batter, you know, so not really a run they earned. But I think overall a, a really good day's work and to be able to get through four today, another good building block for him. What have you seen from Tyone thus far in his starts this spring? Man, um, I mean, we continue to be really, wow. That's gross. <laughs> that, that was, yeah. That's the split? That's gross right there. That thing, wow. Gary's, Gary's giggling. <laughs> Stokes is telling the other team, like, what was that? The 90 mile an hour knuckleball. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Um, Jamo's Jamo's been great. I mean, he's been, he's come as, completely come as advertised, you know, just make up off the charts and, and he's come in feeling so good every you know test he continues to pass whether it's you know getting here getting integrated getting in his bullpens his live bps his progressions now in game um you know he's he's pitched with runners on base and um you know what we're seeing is is the really good jameson tyone stuff you know obviously a cleaner delivery now a shorter arm stroke uh we've really seen his fastball especially yesterday uh in lakeland his fastball you know he was behind in the count a little bit yesterday because he didn't have real consistency with his breaking ball and his secondary but behind in the count really his fastball was really playing up in the zone and that was really encouraging and to finish yesterday's uh outing off with a really good breaking ball um i just think he, he he's in a really good spot right now as we get through the middle of spring training well aaron since we just saw your reaction mm -hmm. to that just disgusting splitter from Aroldis Chapman. I mean, how how confident do you think Chapman's going to be using this during games, and, and how much are, are you and, and Matt Blake and Mike Harkey going to be emphasizing it being a part of the, you know, the repertoire on a, on a regular basis for Chapman? Yeah, very much so. Um, as he skies one off in foul territory on the left side, Gio slips into a warm bath and makes a play. <laughs> Tremendous. Um, no, I'm really confident. Um, you know, it's something that that's you know really he's messed around with for the last couple of years, and then integrated a little bit towards the end of last year, and it absolutely plays. The profile of the pitch is excellent, and what we've come to realize, especially as he's worked on it through the winter now, and and made it part of his mix, and now here into spring training and brought it into games, is not only is it profile is a really effective pitch um, but it's a pitch he's got a really good feel for actually and uh, I absolutely think it's going to be part of of what he does this year yeah Aaron you know we talked to you know you mentioned about uh, you know Zach Britton going to be down for a few months and it, does it necessarily mean that you're looking at another lefty to replace him. I know Litke's been impressive, along with Lions. Uh, I mean, are you are you looking at the lefties to, to kind of replace him, or is there another is there another dark horse in in contention? Uh, I would say honestly, there's a number of guys in contention right now, and there's a lot of different ways we can go. You know, whether you you know prefer like a longer guy that can legitimately give you some length, whether it's a guy that you feel like can you know be really effective in one inning. So no, it's absolutely not a priority that it's left or or right-handed for that matter. We're we're looking for the the best guys, and that fits our roster the best. You know, with a lot of our our. Uh, 
you know, pitchers, you know, you think about like Greeny and uh, <coughs> are really, you know, technically more effective against lefties anyway. So I feel like we have a pretty good balance already in the pen. And with Chappie and Wilson, uh, you know, it's, that's two lefties already. So we'll go with the best guy. Aaron, thank you for the time. As always, we appreciate it. All right, guys.